What a great day for a little raid. Aha, uh -huh, what a terrific candidate, one, maybe two doors. Yeet. Yeet. What the heck? Roof access on a 2 by one Impressive. GG. What is up YouTube, it is Stevie and welcome back to another video. Today I have a really cool base build for you guys. It's one of my favorite solo starter bases. Um, it has a lot of storage, it's very space efficient, and it even has roof access. So obviously at this stage the base is fairly easy to raid, but it's just a template and the whole goal is to expand off of it as quickly as you can, which you can do very easily. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and put the resources it takes to build on the screen right now. Then we'll get to the base tour and the base build at the end. Don't forget to subscribe for more cooler base builds in the future, and definitely leave a like on the video, it really helps. Alright guys, so for the base tour, obviously the first thing you're going to notice are the wood logs at the top, the lower, or the low walls. I'm going to go into that in detail more later into this tour, but let's go ahead and hop right into it. We have one door followed by another, and the honeycombing pattern is so that we can see out without them getting into our first airlock. When we come inside, we have uh, a fireplace right here, two chests right here, a tool cupboard right there. It has a code lock on it, that's very important. And then I give you two options. You can one, put your sleeping bag right here, or one, put your sleeping bag right here. I don't have one down, it's completely up to you. I usually put mine here, but I kind of have altered this base build from an old one, and so I'm gonna start putting it right here. It's completely up to you. When you open these double doors, as you can see, we have two code locked uh, boxes. Obviously, you're not gonna keep it unlocked like mine is right now. Two on the bottom. And then we have two furnaces right there. You can see the top of our tool cupboard through the, uh, through the stairs. If we open up, you can actually hop up to the top story. It has lower rails just to give us some protection. Um, this is a pretty bad spot because there are hills all around. But if you're on a better spot, maybe the top of a hill, it would be uh, a pretty nice little sniper tower for like right after white a nice little base build uh, for that so in terms of expansion um, I'm gonna go into this in a little more detail uh, in the build at the end but I would probably just add some triangle honey coming up this side this side this side maybe make a room right there and then some roofs to connect them or some floors to connect them and you could just keep expanding up it's completely up to you the one thing you have to be careful for in the space is if they do open this, they do have access to your large wooden boxes. That's why I put code locks on them. Uh, also, overnight, if they do blow open those, they can get to your furnaces. In the scheme of things, it's not that big of a deal because if someone's trying to raid you and they actually blow through the store, them getting your furnaces is very minimal, but they can't actually get in so they can't break your boxes and then get the stuff it'll just despawn um, and they probably won't break it in the first place if for some reason you leave this open you get killed they climb up and they come down here one they can't access on the tool cupboard because it is locked underneath two they won't be able to get into this door because it's code locked and three they actually can't get to the chests down here so they're pretty much stuck this would be a, a good reason to keep your maybe your bag down there so that when you spawn back in, you could grab a water pipe out of the chest um, and then shoot them the whole time. They could only be able to see a little bit of you if you were over there in that corner. So it's a really nice setup overall, extremely inexpensive, um, very expandable in almost every direction up, all the sides. Uh, so that's all I have and let's go ahead and jump right into the base build. Alright guys, this base build is so short, I will stay with you the whole time. First you're going to place a foundation and a triangle going off of it, or two, like such. Stairs going up, square, 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 and another one. And then go ahead and destroy the steps and the three other squares on the side, and it should give you something that looks like this. Go ahead and upgrade everything to stone. Then go ahead and put some walls on it, like I'm doing. 
get up here. All right, that's awkward. Put a floor on top and upgrade everything to stone. Put two doorways like such, upgrade them, and then put two floors above. Temporarily, you're gonna leave that square right there. Don't put a floor right there. Go ahead and drop a tool cupboard as far in the corner as you can get it. The closer, the better. Make sure it's this orientation, not the other way. And I'd go ahead and just put a code lock on it immediately. Then get two large chests and place them as far back in the corner beside the tool cupboard as you can. That's kind of dark, so I'm gonna go ahead and get a fireplace. Oh, that did all right. Go ahead and get a tuna can lantern if you want. Obviously, you know I'm a big fan of them because what else am I gonna do with my tuna cans? Get some low grade and go ahead and fill it up. All right, once you have this, you're gonna go ahead and hop to the back, get some solid shelves, place them like so. And you're gonna go ahead and put four chests. Go ahead and get two furnaces and place them as close to the chest, as far to the sides as you can, like this. Then you're gonna go ahead and hop down, get some U-shaped stairs, upgrade them to stone immediately, and it'll give you something that looks like this. You're gonna go ahead and get a door frame, place it there. Not a floor, you're gonna get a floor frame. Floor frame and place it right here. It kind of looks weird, but it'll make sense. Upgrade both to sheet metal. Put the double doors facing inwards like such. Go ahead and slap a code lock on it immediately. Then get on top so you can place your ladder hatch. You want the, this is very important, the ladder to be opening down the stairs, like I just placed it. That's very important. So if someone hops in, they actually can't access anything. Um, even if even if they kill you when you're on top and you don't have time to spawn in, you'll still be fine. Go ahead and place two sheet metal doors. Obviously, if you want to place an armored door, that would be better because it only has two. But obviously, we're planning to expand off of the space, so that's not extremely important right now. You're going to have the space usually in early rounds right after wipe, so rating shouldn't be that big of a problem. But this is the top, so you do have roof access. I would recommend putting low walls, uh, just a little more protection. You know, you feel more comfortable. Maybe upgrade them to wood, because eventually you are going to put walls there. You are going to expand off of it. Um, but this is pretty much the base. As far as the sleeping bag placement goes, you can place it wherever you want, at the bottom of the stairs or at the top of the stairs. Um, it's completely up to you. Uh, if you don't put the furnaces in the room, you can actually put a sleeping bag in the room. So I would expand off the way I was just pointing. Um, maybe put another room there eventually. Um, a big problem is if these doors are open, you can access the chest from the inside. That, but people can't go through, so the easiest thing to do about this is to just put code locks, like such. And obviously this, this is pretty easy to get into, right? But you're expanding off of it, and hopefully you should do it very quickly, get walls up and surround that. Um, it'll make it a lot harder. This is just a beginning build. Um, so no one's really going to be trying to raid this, especially because it kind of looks like a two, two by one with just a honeycombing at the doorway. Um, you can look out the doorway without people getting in your airlock, and that's about it. Um, let me know what you think in the comment section below, and I will see you guys in the next video.